I had very simple dreams. I just wanted to graduate in four years. I wanted to drive myself around and I wanted to see this beautiful world. But I became completely blind just six months before my college graduation. My life became pitch dark. My name is Jill Tsnakaki, and I am 28 years old. I was born in southern part of India, a state called um, Andhra Pradesh, but I grew up in New Delhi, which is the capital of India. I pretty much had a regular childhood. I was living in a family of four people. I went to school there till sixth grade, and we moved to U.S. in 1994, September. I loved to go to the park every day in the evening after I was done with homework and hang out with my friends while having ice cream. I got into San Jose State University. Even before I had applied, my goal was to graduate in four years and not take even a single day more. I also wanted to graduate with a good GPA. It was just a normal evening like any other. I was in my dorm room along with two of my roommates. We turned off the lights and went to bed. I woke up in the middle of the night around 2 a.m. or so to go use the restroom. When I got out of bed and opened my eyes, I realized that for some reason, whatever I could see was a bit blurry. But at that time, when I was half asleep, I didn't care much, as I thought it was part of a dream. Next day morning, when I woke up, the blurriness was still there. I didn't bother worrying about it. And my schedule continued for another two or three days. A few days later, when I came home for the weekend, my parents took me to the hospital. The doctor said that I always had a benign, slow-growing tumor which had now grown into the optic nerve. He said, to save her eyesight, we have to get an emergency surgery. I pleaded to wait for at least a month more so that I could finish my semester. But the doctor said, no, it's an emergency case. Then came the day of the surgery. We woke up around 3 a.m. or 4 a.m. I got in and we waited for the nurse. I went to the restroom. While I was washing my hands, I looked up into the mirror. I can still remember that I clearly looked at my eyes. I guess I knew that this was the last time I would see myself. But I knew that I did not have an option. So I got out of there and got into the bed in my hospital gown. During my surgery, my optic nerve was accidentally damaged. The connection between my eyes and my brain was cut off and I became completely sightless. There's no concept of light or colors or beauty or anything for my eyes. There are many things I miss doing now. That was one thing I used to love to do, was to look at my childhood pictures. That was one of my favorite pastimes, just sitting with my parents, looking at a picture and laughing about it. Immediately after I found out in the hospital that I lost my eyesight, I had asked my brother to go find out details about how the Disability Resource Center could help me get back to my education. 
The first time I went and sat in class, I felt like I was in a big stadium with a thousand people and that everybody's eyes were set on me. And I felt so lonely because I could hear everybody else talking to each other, but nobody talked to me. The professor started and passed around sheets of printed paper with our schedule on it. I tried to read it, but I couldn't. I put up my hand to ask a question. The professor could ignore me. He said yes, but he never said my name, so I didn't know who he was talking to. So he just went on. I felt like I would never be able to complete a, even a single class if this was how my life was going to be. I used to sit in my own room or in the library and cry because every point of the way I was being told you cannot do anything and I actually started believing all of that. This is the end of my life. I'll stay as a dropout of college and a person who's always dependent on someone and always a burden for someone. Initially, as I said, I was very depressed. But eventually, once I started proving to myself that things aren't exactly as bad as people put in my mind, I started to reason with life. I got my childhood perspective back. My childhood perspective was who cares as to what others think about you? Do what you believe, try your best, and then leave the rest. That's when I started looking at life in a different way. And I started trying harder. The moment I started trying harder, I saw results. And that motivated me to go to the next step. I graduated in May of 2006, so which was two years from the day of from the time I had lost my vision. I graduated with a 3.8 GPA, which was higher than what I had prior to losing my eyesight. If I really want to do it, I believe I can do it. I just have to work harder, maybe harder than others. Creating this kind of a mentality and a mindset helped me a lot to get through life and all the hardships that I faced. I work as a test engineer, so which means I basically test Google's products with a special software called a screen reading software, which is used by people with visual impairments. have any lack of abilities, then I would say they are God. Just like that, I'm unable to see. But that doesn't make me any different than any other human being.
My name Jill Snow.